6 o'clock, including how this whole thing got started with the help of our very own Bill Williams. But for now, Beth, we're going to send it back to you. It's a big day. This is like the Super Bowl for Mission Hope. It's a huge day, and hey, give Emmett a big old hug from me. Come here, Emmett. I'm supposed <laughs> to give you a big old hug from Beth. <laughs> Come here, you big guy. Oh, Come on in here, you big guy. You, hug it out. Sparrow. Hug it out on this Friday. Thank Wonderful you. program. Thank, Thank you, you, Emmett. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. So appreciate the work that Mission of Hope does and an opportunity for you and your family to help the effort this holiday season. Well, the Knoxville Handel Society is a multi-generational community choir. They will perform its fall concert this Friday with a special guest and we get to hear more about it right now. Don King and Everett McCorvey, who is with the University of Kentucky Opera Theater, is this weekend's guest conductor. They're both here in studio, and we appreciate you coming in. Certainly a pleasure and an honor to have you well, here. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. In Knoxville. Have I you know. spent much time in Knoxville? I have. I used to live here about, oh, 25, 27 years ago and uh, was here for a couple of years before I went to UK. So a bit and, of a uh, homecoming. For yeah, you. I love Knoxville. It's a great town. And uh, even with what happened last year. I know, week. I wasn't gonna bring it up. <laughs> you went there. I was not, I was not. Okay, for the record. Well, Don, let's, let's talk about this event. Um, it's a wonderful pairing of great music. It surely is. We have been looking forward to this for a long time. Um, Everett comes to us to bring as a guest uh, conductor, the American Spirituals, mm -hmm. and he is the founder and, and director of the American Spiritual Ensemble, which is the finest group I have ever heard live mm -hmm. in performance. We're going to have four of those members as our soloists with our choir. We're going to be performing at the Sacred Heart Cathedral. We've added a performance because of the demand for the tickets. <laughs> we will have two performances. One is at 3.30, and then the other one's at 7 on Sunday, the 18th. And you talk about American spirituals. This really captures much of our heritage yes. uh, when we think of our nation. That's right. What do they mean to you, and why share them with the community? Well, the, the spirituals are the folk songs of the American Negro slaves. And while they were created in a very difficult time in our history, they're now American music. It's American music. It's American folk songs. And so one of my missions in my career with my professional group, the American Spiritual Ensemble, is to keep the American Negro spiritual alive. And so we travel all over the world, actually, celebrating this music and sharing it with people and helping people understand about spirituals, how to perform them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, because we want to keep this music alive and the best way to do it is to perform it. And so the, uh, the choir here is fantastic. We had a great rehearsal last night. We're rehearsing the rest of the weekend.